Sure, it's a thing. No. <laughs> Sorry. Twitch chat, technical difficulties. Ah, Yay. there we go. Oh. No. Ah, there we go. Stop messing with it, Daniel. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why does it keep messing with it when it's fixed? Poker player? I used to before I played Magic. So you have like sunglasses and an iPod? No, one on lag. Alright, so we have Green, back, green Black Eldrazi versus, I believe Jake's on Asvin. Abdan, like he normally is. Yay. There goes her screen again. <laughs> and again. Looks like Jake's gonna fetch and lead off with Ward in the first tree. Chain's first player is gonna come in and play tap land. I think that's hissing Quagmire. I think he might have kept the one land hand on the draw. Shane or Jake? Jake. Jake. Because he, he mulliganed a six and then he, he bottomed. He might have a land. I don't. I don't see one. Though. Two wardens though. Is that exile? Go. <laughs> yeah, over it. It's not the greatest start for Jake. Is that? I think that's Spear to the Haven. Dragon Haven for Shane as a second land. Match just started. So it looks like. Shane's playing a version of Green Black Ramp, revealing Sylvan Advocate off his Oath of Nyssa. Jake looks like he's still stuck on one land, so this is probably going to be a short game. Yeah, I would have mulliganed a five. Like, yeah, you get a scry and you're on the draw, but. Yeah, how bad is it, though? I mean, he had, at least he had two turn one plays in the dark. Yeah, but a one one doesn't do anything. Yeah. Especially since those one drops need lands, you can't really keep them as just like three threes. You wish. I do. Yep. So Jake drops his still an advocate. Passes the turn. Looks like Jake just passes the turn back. Unfortunately, it's going to be a short game. Looks like Shane's a reality smash for the turn. I don't know if he has a fifth land. Oh, I'm sorry. It was a hanger back walker. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty tough one to win. <laughs> All right, now we're cooking. Here we go, boys and girls. Here we go, boys and girls. Well, I would love to say that... <laughs> <laughs> he probably drew a land, yeah. <laughs> Jake drew a land. <laughs> but unfortunately, I had some cool. technical problems. We a little late. Can't actually see what Jake is playing right now. It seems a little late to the party, though. I, I, I think Shane has too much pressure, although he missed a land drop. Oh, oh he had a tap land last turn. <laughs> we can only see half the screen. Stop messing with it. We're good. Uh, looks like Jake's probably just going to pack in the towel at this point. That's five fives are hard to beat. Five five. He's got the Abzan charm, but I mean he has cards to pitch, so it's not the worst. Yeah. <laughs> It's just the other two the other two creatures are going to put too much pressure on him at this point. Okay. Uh, Jake also looks like he has an Anna Fenza, the foremost out. Yep. I mean, Jake can't possibly attack in here. He would. Well, does the uh, hanger? It doesn't trigger because it exiles, right? It has to die. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the double reality is going to be rough. Combat. 
And yeah, now four or five. So this is going to put Jake to one. As well as Smasher and Discover. Okay. okay. Uh, so it looks like Jake just exiled Wingmate Rock instead and got rid of the Reality Smasher. Okay. Yeah, I don't really think it would matter what Jake did at that point. Uh, I think he had to double block the 4-5. He just put 4-4 four, four on 4-5. Four, it's just so bad. Yeah, I don't think he realized Sylvan Advocate was a, was a, was live. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, then Shane just doesn't attack with it. Jake probably should have mulligan there. That was a... You're right. It's probably too too greedy. Yeah. I mean, he was already at six, and he was on the draw with the scry, but... I, I'm still not sure how he wins that game, though. Let's say he double blocks the Sylvan Advocate, and then he exiles the... We died. Do you hear anything now? It's really quiet. I don't hear anything. Mine died. What did you do? <laughs> yeah, I don't hear anything. <laughs> My mic died. He killed us. So proud of you. That is just lands and dice. There we go. Oh, it was Jake. Good, good job. No, we're good. He unplugged it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> hey, Daniel, just so you know, you keep fixing it, then it breaks again. Yeah, I'm not actually doing anything to break it. That's why I'm trying to, like, I don't know why it keeps going to that third monitor or the split screen. I'll see if I can fix it again. Well, apparently Shane is boarding out or in Flipnissa, unfortunately. So I'm not really sure what... Shane, I think Shane's end plan is just be, be with Reality Smasher. I'm not sure what kind of top end he has. It looks like he's somewhat of like the red-green ramp deck. Yeah. <laughs> he usually tops out with either World Breaker or a combination of World Breaker and Chandra. I think he plays any actual ramp spells. Yeah. Like explosive. I don't know. We can talk about the merits of pile shuffling. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. There's some some technical difficulties in the booth. We keep losing half of our monitor. Looks like we're about ready for game two. Imagine Jake being on the play. Hopefully he keeps a couple lands. Couple lands. <laughs> well, he had a good turn one and he said nothing to follow up with it. Yeah. No. It doesn't look like the greatest, although he has more than one land. It looks like he has two murderous cuts though and a wingmate rock. With no fetches, I'm not sure. Uh, sure, how much that's going to be active for him? He's got to have another land, right? Oh, he he, he has he has two lands. Oh, okay. Uh, he just has no fetches to power on his uh, his removal. Yeah, 
Chain plays a fetch and passes. Can't actually see what's in Shane's hand. Oh, now here we go. So, looks like thought not. Reality Thought Smasher. Not, reality Smasher, and then uh, the green, black, and one uh, Scepter. Scepter. Yeah. yeah. So what do you take if you're if you're Jake? I think you just take the Reality Smasher. It's your heart is two for one. Wait, what do you take? It looks like you took Catacomb Sifter. Sorry again, we can't see everything that's going on here. Yeah, Jake took Catacomb Sifter. Hmm. I guess in Jake's mind. He oh, that's why it's four or less, right? You can't take Smasher. Transgress. Isn't it three or greater? I don't know. Yeah, I, I would. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Three or greater. Yeah, I would have just taken Smasher. Yeah. I don't know. Because he can't beat that card. You don't care if he has three power on the board. Although I'm not sure what's in Jake's hand. It looks like his Silk Wrap, Abs and Charm, and uh, Wingmate Rock. So it looks like he has stuff to do. I mean, that's the, the thought not to be the second card I'd take. Um, I'm still not sure we took Catacomb Sifter, I guess, if you're afraid of, of fit, afraid of pressure. But so for Shane, you don't take either the uh, either the Delve cards. Yeah, yeah. It looks like he took his his draw, so Jake doesn't have anything going on here. Charms, fine pick. Wingmake Rock isn't a bad one also, since that's like his only pressure. But, yeah, Charm's good. Yeah, I mean, it's two unknown cards versus a, a threat. Um, he's obviously just going, he obviously just murders cuts the uh, the Thought Knots here to draw a card. No. Yeah. Yeah, because now I don't know how he's going to deal with this 5-5 five five without 2 for one himself. Yeah, unfortunately he can't. Yeah, so I, I, I don't think it's going to end up great for, for Jake, although I'm not sure what what, Shake, what, uh, what Shane has going on after this. He, he does have to 2 for one himself. Probably just pitch Forest. So, I mean, that wasn't the worst. He didn't have to delve for it. Shane doesn't have any pressure. Yeah. Oh, this one actually ended up pretty good. So Jake, Jake can. If you're Jake, do you play Anna Fenza or do you play? I play Anna Fenza here to get a raid trigger and wingmate rock. Um. Or, do you, or do you like getting a, a flyer threat? I don't know. I kind of like this leading with the with the creature to get the to get the trigger on the wingmate rock because then Shane yeah. has to deal with two separate threats. Yeah, that's the thing. Like he didn't play the rock the turn before, so when he had the chance. Right. I, I almost I'd rather see him just play the rock last turn and get some pressure. On the right, board. like take the five of the hit and then you can play Anafenza, hit for and three, gain one, and kill his guy. And kill his guy. Yeah. It's better to. Yeah, and he knew he just had the exile. Yeah, so now Jake gets punished, unfortunately. Uh, a 
believe that was Runa's path. <laughs> yeah, I think I think the other play ends up much better, but it is what it is. It looks like Shane has Grasp of Darkness for the Anafenza. And then we'll see what his follow-up is. His follow-up is going to be Nissa, I believe. That's going to be rough. You play land already? Or is he playing it now? Uh, I do not think he's played a land yet. So here's something else Jake has to deal with, unfortunately. I don't know if Jake has any... Oh, Jake has a Silk Wrap in his hand. Yeah, it's just going to end up poorly. So if you're Shane, do you just make a, do you just make a, uh, a token here because you need a threat on the board. Jake can't really deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, just get the token now. Yeah, or I guess he draws cards. So Shane chooses to draw a card, reveals Grasp of Darkness, so he's playing for the longer game. Hmm. Jake's hand is Silk Wrap, looks like land, and I can't see what the third card is. So I'm in, I am interested to see what Shane's top end is. <clears throat> he's going digging with Nyss again, Ooh. gets an Obnix list. Okay, so that's he's... That's going to be a tough one. Yeah, so that, that's a pretty good one. So he's just going for the card advantage long game plan here because Jake doesn't really have anything going on. Okay, he's just going to play Obnix list and draw a card. Yeah. This is another Oath of Nyssa. With the oath out, he doesn't actually have to tap double black, so he can keep the grasp up in his hand. But he, he didn't yeah, do he it. Yeah, he chose not to. <laughs> yeah, he could have tapped his other lands. Yeah, so that's not great. I, how do you feel about playing the oath instead first to get more information and then draw cards? Um, I guess it depends on if he has anything better in his in his top top end. Looks like Shane's sitting on a uh, Catacomb Sifter and a Ruinous Path. He's going to be able to wake him. Yeah, this is pretty bad. <laughs> I'm, not sure, I'm not sure what draws Jake could get to get out of this. Shane, Shane doesn't really have to be aggressive at all here. He's just going to sit back and draw cards, threatening to ultimate his Planeswalkers. Yeah. And that's his game plan. I don't know if Jake plays any combination of Ruinous Path to deal with those, but I, w I would doubt it. He needs to stick a threat. Unfortunately, Obnix is going to deal with any threat that Jake plays. Although, that's, that's a good start. That's Den Protector? Yeah, that's a Den Protector. So if you're Shane, do you just kill the Den Protector? Mm. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. But yeah, he could have saved two life. Since you're going to see a lot of cards next turn, you'd rather just use your mana yeah. now. What are Jake's going to get back here? Let's get back. Is it gets back to creature? Maybe Abzan Charm to draw more cards. I'm not sure what I do here. I, I again, I'm. He doesn't have enough mana to activate his man land and still get a Rage or a Wingmate Rock. Yeah. He also doesn't have. He also doesn't have enough mana to. Uh, to play Anafenza and attack a Planeswalker. He needs to press. He needs to pressure Shane's Planeswalkers. Otherwise, this game's over. I'm, I'm not really sure about getting back a removal spell when Shane doesn't have a threat. Right, you're just just gonna win with her, the Planeswalkers. Yeah. Shane doesn't even, Shane doesn't actually need to play a creature at this point to win the game. Shane can just ultimate his his Planeswalkers. I mean, I guess Shane could attack with a hissing Quagmire, but if I'm Jake, I certainly don't waste my removal spell on a on a what is it a two three Death Touch land. Yeah. Although he might he he might want to start pressuring Jake and make a token here instead of drawing two cards. Looks like he ticks up again, gets another oath of Nissa. 
See if Chain managed to run a finisher. Land, still an advocate, and I can't see the third card. Well, thought thought not. not here. Yeah, it seems like rough. a solid draw. Looks like Jake picked up Kalidas. Unfortunately, he's probably going to lose the Kalidas here. Yep. Unless he, I mean, you don't care about the Kalidas, actually. So you just take the removal spell, then Jake has to top deck removal for your 4-4. Four four. I just don't see how Jake can ever win this game. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Should you just let him see your hand at that point? Uh, well, th then he takes the cut, and you don't have an out. He does take the cut, so he draws the, he draws the planes, but maybe Kalidus. I mean, you can play two spells next turn. Um, that was a pretty solid draw. Jake draws Absan Charm. Hey, he might crawl back in. The only out I could see is if he had like a, a one of Ugin in the Absan deck and just yeah. like yep. <laughs> kill all the Planeswalkers. <laughs> yep, that, that would do it. Um, of course, Shane's still driving, drawn live to Reality Smashers. He's given his opponent plenty of time playing a almost mono blackish <laughs> old control deck, I suppose. So, what do you do for Jake here? Do you Absan Charm and draw cards? I mean, you want more information on your turn because you, you have to play spells to win the game here. You can't. Yeah, play it. you just got to draw here and hope to draw some stuff. I don't know what the ultimate of Opnixus is. Uh, I believe it's whenever cards are on, you lose two lives. No, 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 no. Is it uh, s seven or eight? Like, is he threatening ultimate yet? Mm, I believe so. I'm, I'd have to look at the uh, if Twitch, if the uh, stream mod could put up uh, Opnixus, that'd be helpful. All right, so Jake just chooses to pass here. Not sure why. Yeah, he he really needs to go draw cards and give himself options on his own turn. His plan, if if it's to block with your life gain land. So again, at least Jake has time. Shane's not pressuring him until he ultimate <laughs> ultimates uh, Obnixilus. Uh, I definitely don't like attacking with the uh, the token. Unless Shane has a removal spell. Oh, he's gonna put counters. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, if I'm Shane there, maybe I wait till after combat to activate my Obnixilus. Yeah. Then he can just kill his land. I think he has an, uh, another removal spell in his hand. He has though. another removal spell. Yeah, yeah, he has another Ruinous Path. Although it's. So maybe wait till after instead of wasting your removal spell on his land. Can't see what Jake drew. Although I don't, I don't think any amount of Siege Rhinos is going to get an Abzan player out of this game. <laughs> yeah. All right, looks like that's yeah, the Yeah, Planeswalkers are too much. Not much a match there, unfortunately. Keeping a one-lander in game one. <laughs> yeah. But uh, so that'll be it for round one. Uh, we'll have some, might have some other guys in the booth for round two. But we're going to step away. Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. are extremely painful for you. <laughs> and these stupid scions are protecting me from Liliana. Did you have it? Yeah.
actual stone rain? Actual stone rain. This what are you doing? Go. This is the situation. This is fine. 